It's a good setting for a ramp because it's right next to the train tracks. So the noise of the trains, you know, I guess people can't moan too much about the noise of the ramp because there's trains right there as well. The very first death graphic came out in 1998 and it's still going. And luckily it keeps selling and it's brilliant. And there's, there's not many companies that have had a, a graphic going for 16 years and it still sells. And it's funny because people give me a lot of stick about it saying they don't like it. I'm like, well, that's okay. I don't mind if you like it or not. It's been selling for 16 years. So I really can't complain. Hello, Dave. All right, Dave. What are you doing? You're not, you know you're not supposed to be in here, don't you? I wasn't interested in making any money out of it or, or really doing it seriously. I just wanted to have a bit of fun and do some boards for me and my friends. And um, I made some stickers and some shirts and just a couple of boards, put stickers up, and I put a sticker on a shop door, Big Worm Skate Shop in, in Harlow. And uh, Hem called me up and said, when are you going to deliver all these boards? When are you going to make all these boards? And I was like, what do you mean? And um, he's like, yeah, the kids are asking for death boards. They really want these boards. And I was like, what? The kids actually like that logo and they, they're interested. He said, yeah, they, they can't wait for them. So I made some boards and they sold and I made some more and they sold. And then fast forward a few years and, and here we are. People on the dev team, they want to they wanna skate and they want to have a good time. I'd say that's what unites everyone, yeah. People don't get too serious about it. A lot of kids' dreams are to, one, be sponsored, or two, have their own brand. And I think it's become a lot easier uh, for people to start their own stuff now, because if you can actually get your name out there without having to spend big, big money on advertising. I've been skating around 30 years. It's like having a degree in skateboarding. You know, you can't just go and do a trade without having any training or any qualifications in it. And I think being a skateboarder for a long period of time it kind of gives you a qualification in skateboarding in a way. And it in, enables you to do a company that, that's going to work or at least have a chance of working. When I was old enough to move out, I moved to Harrow because of the skate scene, really, and I've never, never left. Yeah, so it's just a lovely little, it's just a lovely scene. And the park is, the park is a lot of fun. It's, it's a bit old now, but it's a lot of fun. And there's not much around like it anymore. It's about 32 years old now, so. So this thing's gnarly, the half pipe. No flat, no platform. It is death. But I've seen some really good stuff go down there. And when I came here for the first time and saw this, it, it did blow me away. As a kid, when you, you know, when are you going to see something like this? Um, I know a lot of kids, when, when I was young skating here, might not have come from the best environments and the best backgrounds, and it means you could get out of your house, get away from whatever was going on. You know, if families are struggling, it's not always the nicer, nicest environment to be in. And you come here with your friends and you can skate, you can forget about everything, you can have a good time, and it's good for you. Obviously, apart from when you slam. It's, I think it's just a really nice, a really nice thing for the kids to be able to do, and it's, it's social, you know. I mean, I, I, I've, when I first started skating here, I met people, and I still know them now. And I've gone to Japan to visit friends that I met here when I was a kid. It really is something special. <laughs> 